The new update from Windsurf is here, Windsurf Wave 2, like you can see right here, and it has completely changed the game. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it, plus build some real projects out today. And it's not just an update, it is a revolution. I'll show you exactly why today, but it's pretty amazing. It can, for example, build websites, apps, and tools faster than a seagull stealing your sandwich. On top of that, it searches the web live, it's got a memory, and it's like a coding search engine with superpowers. And in one single click, Boom, websites are done, APIs are fetched, Python scripts run. So prepare to have your socks knocked off, even if you're wearing Crocs. Let's go. Windsurf have a brand new update like you can see right here. It's called Windsurf Wave 2. And it was just announced less than 48 hours ago. This is a game changing tool for creating and coding projects. You can download it directly at codium.com forward slash windsurf. And then once we're going to get straight into this, I'm not messing around it. So. I'm going to open up a new folder. I'll show you exactly how this works step by step. So we're going to open up a new folder, hit open. And then from here, we've got some absolute game changers when it comes to coding. So we're going to click on Code of Cascade. And now from here, we're coding directly with Claude 3.5 Sonic. And you want to make sure that you're selecting right, not chat down here. And now what Windsurf can actually do is it can search your web. Now there's many other updates, including, for example, problem solving, all those sort of things. But actually one of the most powerful things about this is it can now search a web, kind of like a coding search engine that can help you to create new projects, which is super useful. So for example, if you want to find the latest API documentation, or for example, if you wanted to create a website on the latest news. So for example, if we say to Windsurf, create a beautiful website, based on today's latest news headlines. It's gonna go off and start running that, like you can see. And you can see here is now search the web. So it's search the web for the latest news headlines. Now, if we actually click open on this and we pop this open, it's giving us the links from where it sourced the data. So for example, Wall Street Journal, Reuters, TechCrunch, it's got all the news headlines, Science Daily as well, even NBC News. So it's actually looking at the live data and what's going on today. Then it's beginning to code the website, like you can see right here. And it's already built out the HTML and the CSS. Now, you can select different APIs, but I always tend to find that Claude 3.5 Sonic is the best for human writing and also the best for coding from what I've seen so far. And then it can also run the Python script. So you can see here it has access to terminal commands. So you can just click accept. It's going to run that through like so. And it's given us the address to check that out. And now you can see it's created this new website, AI News Today. It's got the date right here. And it's also found the latest headlines. Now, how do we know these are actually the latest headlines? So let's check. So for example, if we type in OpenAI Ventures into Longevity, you can see this is one of the latest news headlines from AI this week. And it's probably taken that directly from TechCrunch, which is sourced earlier on the web search. Now, this is pretty amazing because all of a sudden, you've got access to live real-time data for creating any sort of apps, tools, etc. And it's not going to be months behind like many of the other previous models. Additionally, this is the only AI coder that I've seen that has actual access to this. So for example, I've done a lot of videos on Rookline, N8N, Cadestral. I've tested pretty much every single major API out there, Project IDX, all these other and AI coding tools. And I've never seen this before. So for example, if we do exactly the same prompt on bolt.new, just to test this side by side. And bear in mind, literally we just created one prompt. So we say create a beautiful website based on today's AI news headlines. We're gonna to go to bolt.new and we'll test this out and see how it performs side by side and what this creates step by step. So number one, first thing I would say is like the project is gonna be a lot more complex in bolt.new. Whereas inside Windsurf, it just creates the CSS, the HTML, the JS, and then boom shakalaka, you can create whatever you want. The other difference here is of course, Windsurf is hosted locally. Whereas for example, if you're using bold.new, it's all online, which means that inside this project, you've got it stored offline, ready to go. Whenever you need it, you can just open back the folder and then easily get back to editing the previous model. Whereas for example, like to scroll through all your previous projects on Bolt, it's gonna take a lot more time and you have to find the right project, etc. right? It's a bit more messy. The other thing here I'd say is like, if we actually check out the latest news headlines from bolt.new, so for example, it's sourced the Tech Chronicle and it's mentioned OpenAI introduces GPT-5 with enhanced reasoning capabilities. I mean, GPT-5, as far as I know, has not come out or even been announced. And if we look through the headlines here, there's nothing from Tech Chronicle that mentions OpenAI introducing GPT-5, right? So this is based on hallucinated data, which is gonna totally mess up your project. Whereas for example, if you use Windsurf and Wave 2, Windsurf Wave 2 is actually searching on the internet. It's using Wipsurf. It's using web search, 
It's kind of like having Windsurf connected to, for example, like Google searches, and then you can get the latest data. Instead of having hallucinated nonsense, that's not going to help you at all. You can also turn it off as well if you want inside the settings. Now you might be saying at this point, okay, but how do I host it? So what you can do here is if you go to review and finder, you've got your new project right here. Like, so that is your new project that you just built with Windsurf. And literally what did it take? A couple of seconds, one single prompt, and you just created a website that's literally so easy to host. So for example, if you go to Netlify, then you go to add new site, then go to import existing project, try Netlify drop, drag your project directly there. And not only have you built your project, but you can also host it. You can preview it before you actually put it on a custom domain. You can see that's ready to go right here. And then also if we scroll down to domain management, you can actually add a new domain here so that you can host this on a custom domain. So for example, we've got bestseocalculators.com that was hosted with Netlify using a similar sort of process. So for example, if we put AI news today, 2025.com, We'll verify whether that's available. It is available. We can just get it for $15. And then we've built a website in seconds, right? No coding. It's built on all the latest news developments. Pretty well stuff. Here's the other benefit of using Windsurf. It's like, if you say, for example, can you give me the latest API docs for Claude? It's going to search for the latest Claude API documentation using the web. Now, why is that useful? It's because previously when you are using, for example, no code tools like bold.new or cursor, quite often it doesn't have access to the latest API documentation, which means when you're coding with these tools, the tools can be completely wrong because the AI has outdated information on how to build with them, right? Whereas for example, Windsurf can actually source the latest API documentation, which means you don't need to search the web and figure it out. You can just get it all done for you. And you can actually select between using GPT-40 or Claude 3.5 Sonnet for your API. So now let's get some great ideas on what we could build. What I'm actually gonna do is I'll go back to Windsurf and I'll ask the AI for some ideas on what we can build using the web search. So I'm gonna say here, give me some ideas in the SEO niche and you can put whatever niche you're in, tailor this to whatever industry you're in. If you're wondering, okay, what can I build with this? And then we can say, right, okay, I'm in the SEO industry. Give me some ideas and we'll switch now to chat, not to write, right? Because we wanna go in the chat mode. We're not trying to create a project right here. And when you say, give me some ideas, I'm in the SEO niche, give me some ideas for apps, tools, on websites I can build specifically tailored to your new search functionality. That would be mind blowing. What I love about this as well is that it has write access. So it can actually write files without me having to approve it. And then it will just build everything step by step. As you can see, you can update existing projects, update the files inside your project. You don't need to click accept all changes each time. It creates edits along the way. You can also code multiple projects at the same time, which is pretty cool too. So if you're waiting for one to code, you can wait for the other to code in the meantime. And also what we can do here is if we select between different projects here, we can go back to a new project, open up a new folder, click open here. Then we'll start coding with Cascade. So you want to click code with Cascade. And using the web search feature, if we say, for example, replicate this website, and I'll just paste in the domain. We can also clone websites. It will analyze the structure of the site you asked it to clone and then use that for its future project. So you can see now it's creating a replica of the website based on what we already did before. So if you see, for example, like a really nice design or style of project that you like, you can use that for inspiration. Obviously, I'm sure it goes without Steam, but you don't need to copy anything here. And then you can see it's literally taken the information from the website. It's even analyzed, for example, the links on the website, the funnels, etc. It's scanning the internet in real time, it's basically like an agent that goes off, does the research for you, then comes back and builds the project. Pretty amazing stuff. Now it's gonna run it and we have the website ready to go. So let's preview this URL like you can see and look at that. We just replicate the whole website in literally one click and that did not take long at all. I mean, if we compare these projects side by side, so this is the website designed by Bolt and this is the original website that took like literally a whole weekend and dozens of hours to build and you can see how much time you can save right step by step and i'm pretty sure if we ran traffic to this it would probably convert it also sends traffic to our funnels directly like you can see and we did it just by using that web crawler option inside windsurf very very powerful stuff now what you can also do is inside here it has a new memory feature inside windsurf which means unlike these other no coding tools you don't have to like every single time give it the prompts on what your brand colors are or what your funnels are you can just paste that information in once and then use it to build out future projects. So for example, if I go into Windsurf and I'm like, okay, remember this important info. My brand colors are 
always use these for creating projects, right? And then you can see here, I've just double checked that it's actually working. So I've said, can you update your memory too? And it said, I've already stored your brand colors in my memory, brand colors here. I will use these colors for all future projects created for you, right? So it's just like one single prompt is gonna save me typing that over and over and over again. Like you can see in all my other previous projects where I'm doing no code stuff. So now if we go to a new project, let's open up a new window folder. And also something to note here is that you can link this to GitHub repositories as well, but I'm not going to cover that today. I've covered that in past videos. We're going to say from here, find me some keywords based on today's AI headlines that I could create an SEO optimized EMD about, right? So an exact match domain website that I could create and rank using Windsurf based on today's headlines. Now, this is really important to understand because what it's doing is it's pulling in the latest headlines from the web, which it couldn't do previously. And then you can find new keywords or new websites or new apps or new tools that people are searching for based on today's information. So for example, it's looked at this AI predictions article right here from Forbes, pulled that in. And then using all the other headlines that it found is like, right, you could create something about autonomous agents or self-learning AI. It's also found that AI verification is pretty difficult, so we could create some exam match domains about those. You could also say, for example, find some keywords and EMDs around new tools released in the last seven days. Now, this is important to know as well, because what it's actually doing is it's not just going to create the tool for you. It's not just going to create it based on its memory. It's not just going to search the web and find what those opportunities are, but it's even going to find the recommended exact match domain that you can use when you host this website via Netlify or whatever right? It can even check the domain availability of those suggestions as well. So for example, here, it looked at the latest releases from ChatGPT's, ChatGPT's new task feature released on the 15th to the 17th of January, 2025. Then it's given us a bunch of ideas for that. And you, again, you can tailor this to whatever industry you niche you're in. I'm just using AI as an example. And then it said, right, for task management AI related searches, you could create, for example, AITaskManager.com or Smart Runner or AI assistant or tech, right? And they'll be related to. So now we've said build our AI task manager.com, starting to create out the site, like you can see right here. And just for the sake of speed, I'm going to say now make sure it's just a simple landing page, just so that I can create this project quickly for you and show you what it looks like based on everything that I've talked about today. Then you can build this out. If you don't like what you see, then you can just say like make it more beautiful or improve the design, etc. But the main thing here is that you can really take advantage of this to build out like trending websites, look up API data, build something more complicated because you've got access to the APIs and also access to the latest headlines. And also like you can create these sort of predictive websites based on potential updates and news headlines and then reach a lot of people that way, whether that's a tool or website, whatever it is. And then if we open this up, we've got the website ready to go. Like you can see right here, the task manager is built. It's even added some testimonials in there some information about the product and it hosted it locally so that we could preview it, right? Super powerful stuff. So thanks so much for watching. What I've actually done is put together a hundred use cases for whatever industry or whatever tool you're trying to create, even e-commerce, app development, content creation, etc. And that's inside my free SEO course. You can get it inside the video notes along with the prompts from today. And this free SEO course, link in the comments description, comes with tutorials on how to do keyword research, link building, build projects, host apps, free SEO tools, free AI tools, AI agents, etc. Additionally, inside there, you're going to get access to a community of 3,300 SEOs that you can ask for help, ask for tips, post in the community, etc. Additionally, you also get access to another AI SEO course, 50 free SEO tools, and 200 free chat GPT prompts, completely free. Feel free to get all of that inside the link in the comments description. Pretty amazing all the value in there. On top of that, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to book that in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a custom made SEO domination plan to discover the secrets of SEO, get your questions answered one-to-one, -one, learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in link building and how to 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that link in the comments in the description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.